Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're going to be playing Satisfactory again today. Hope you're having a good week so far. We kicked this week off with a new episode of The Spun Chunks. We recorded and published that yesterday. You can get that at any podcasting platform that you like, as well as YouTube. It's at The Spun Chunks, very easy to find. We talked about the uh, resin blocks and resin block family coming to Java Edition Snapshot. I had a couple of emails from listeners about bundles and about what a burnt wood might look like in Minecraft. And uh, we also di discussed the uh, naming convention of updates, the new winter drop update cycle, and whether or not that's confusing for players. So if you are one of those players, that might be interesting to tune in for that conversation. But that's all available now uh, wherever you get your favorite podcasts. And uh, we're going to just dive right in because like there hasn't really been much going on uh since the last time that we streamed satisfactory i haven't had a chance to stream or play or do anything behind the scenes so we finished the train station uh or at least the technical parts of it and uh still needs to be decorated um but i did bring in some blueprints so uh the next step is going to be to try to tie it to devastator to make it look a little bit nicer i think And Mindtrip Media, thank you for the 100 bits. I really appreciate it, as always. Thanks for the lurk. Jump in here. I did paint a few things for some screenshots, uh, but that was immediately after the stream on Saturday. And I don't think I like it. It's very grid-like. It's not my favorite. You'll see here in a second. So over there is the original um, concrete foundations that we have on top of this. I like the smoothness of it. I'm not a fan of the color. I tried making it dark, but in the process of making it dark, I also ended up giving it uh, a checkerboard pattern, which I don't like. So we're going to remove that, I think, in favor of something else. And I just don't know quite what that is yet. Uh, I might try to make something darker. This just is too light for me. Um, but it's difficult to get a concrete um, that looks the right shade without it, the grid lines, so we'll have to see what we can come up with there. Uh, however, I did add in the details along the front of all of these. I just copy and pasted what we had before, and so it just looks like a finished thought. Uh, and again, unfortunately, this loses its impact with a dark floor as well. These are much better, I think, uh, lighter, or even if it's just like a slightly darker version. I don't know. We need to do something though, because the the checkerboard pattern is not my not my favorite. And if we go black, it doesn't really go all the way black either. Still not enough contrast. I really want it to be smooth. I really wish they gave us some smooth textures in the game. Uh, but there's not much we can do there. I can try maybe a custom one. And see if that might be something I can get at. What's this? This is 50%. Chew and I cannot stress this enough. Chew! <laughs> Thanks very much for the 200 bits and the TTS sticker cosmic. Appreciate it. Um, I guess we'll do Devastator Green. What can I do with this? Can I change... This is the one that goes full. I can't go... Super. If I go super black or super white, it's going to look strange. I don't think I want to go like minus 10. I don't think that's going to be what I want. Well, it's better than it was before. And it's very Decepticon-like, so maybe we do that. 
at least for now. And that way, it's, where it's a custom color, if we change it later, it's not going to be a big deal. Sweet Sandy resubscribed. Tier 1, six months in advance. Holy crap, Sandy. 46 months in total. That's amazing. Thank you ever so much. I really appreciate that. Wow. Cosmic Dancer, 200 bits. This is a test to see if bits and stickers are different in terms of the hype train. Um... They are not. So the the stickers don't count towards the hype train? 11 minutes, 2 minutes now. Mm, no, my trip media is... Oh yeah, the, the sticker shows up separately, doesn't it, Cosmic? You're right. I don't want to die the train. Thanks for the bits, Cosmic. Uh, there's two minutes and 25 seconds left for anybody that wants to do uh, Prime Sub, Tier 1 Sub, or bits. Uh, apparently regular bits is not going to work if it's a TTS sticker, which is unfortunate. I think the stickers do, but because I did the bits and the stickers, it didn't count. Oh, maybe it's because you did both, Cosmic? You're saying it's because it was you that did both of them? Not the other way around. It's going to make it very dark downstairs. There is definitely a frame rate issue when you're doing this. For me, anyway. Hey, the Nookie, how's it going? I think I'm going to leave those like that for now, and we'll decorate those based on what the outside looks like. Too bad you can't change the color of the rails. That would be fun. Yeah, it's better than it was before. The rails feel like they stick out like a sore thumb, but at least this is looking a little bit better. Uh, I don't know. But they want to change those? Don't know what no color they are normally. Little under the weather. Oh no, that's too bad. Um, I am not under the weather. Well, I mean, I'm under the weather. Um, not, not my own weather. Uh, it's a rainy fall day here in Dartmouth. Good day for video games. I uh, really am glad that I don't have anywhere to go today. No errands, nothing like that. 
These are going to blend together, I guess, in terms of the sides here. Be a little bit less contrast. Oh, that's supposed to be the metal one, isn't it? Hmm. I wonder if these look better as uh, asphalt. Oh, no, because then they show up on that, don't they? Okay. Fair enough. Hmm. Maybe we have to change those to a different color. Somewhere down the line. This is like watching one of those videos on TikTok where the video is something playing on top of someone coloring beneath it. I've never understood those. It's like they want there's it's like someone saying something dumb but then they want you to um keep your focus. What am I hearing? A slug somewhere? Oh, it's a mercer sphere. For a resonant song, scripture becomes harmony, becomes composition. Defile our temple, and the threads will sew the windows open. Pattern analysis continuing. New instruction. Repeat pioneer exposure to alien artifacts. Brain damage compensation packages may be available on successful completion of a special claims form. <laughs> our expert fix-it medical staff are impartial and always open to assess your claim. <laughs> nice. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, all the trains are running except for um, Bone Crusher because Bone Crusher is uh, only bringing in sulfur. The Bone Crusher station is actually in a bit of a state. Um, and I don't know what's going to happen with all of this mess out there. One thing I did want to show everybody is that I uploaded my save to the um interactive map website so this is devastator this is the save and if i hide can i hide some of this stuff structures player information transportation Where does it let me sh turn off my stamps? This site is so heavy on ads, unfortunately. It's so chuggy. It's too bad. It would be a really useful site. I'd use it to teach more on stream if it wasn't such a slideshow because of all the ads. There's the map layers. I don't know if it lets me turn off. Maybe this is it here. There we go. Beacons Towers. 
That's a little bit better. Let's turn off that and turn off that. Yeah. So, um, you can see where... I'm going to zoom out here. So there's Devastator. This big kind of box here. Uh, hopefully we'll have a better shape once we're done with it. Oh, sure. Zoom out now. That's fine. That's exactly what I would like to show the people. A teeny tiny postage stamp that allows me to illustrate nothing. Wait, okay, this was working fine a minute ago, but um, see if it lets me zoom back in. Oh, it can zoom too far. All right. You know what? I thought this was going to be useful. Um, here's the train station. So there's the, the five train stations that we've got going on. Uh, and this is the roundabout. And this is where you can see that I've got it far too close to the cliff. And I think a better place for it would be here. And so I think that it might be worth exploring that and seeing what level we want to put that on. Uh, and then using that as kind of like the new hub. And so instead of this offshoot here, uh, the train, the main line would go to the roundabout and then um, Scavenger would have a different line. And also this train station, I just don't want to worry about it because it's, it's not going to be there, I don't think, anymore. All of the major nodes that are near here are up in this area. So it would make more sense to have a train station over here. So... I think that we might look at this today and try to figure out like where a good location would be. This is already pretty straight and it looks like it might be on grid. So I might actually go out there and double check and see what the, where the grid is. So we'll see what's up there. Yeah, unenhanced. The the website is such a slugfest. I, it's too bad that it... Because it, it wasn't doing that a few minutes ago. So I feel like this little bit of land is probably the, the thing that I want to center the, um, the bridge over. So this is all going to get ripped up, I think. You know, I might have to close that um, website. We are getting a slideshow here today, too. I don't know what's going on. So if I was to grab a foundation and hit control, I don't know that even, I don't even think this is on the grid. Cosmic Dancer, holy crap. This is not, this a, is test. not a test. 
Oh wait this talks now. Erm. Welcome to the mind of Cosmic. Please leave a message after the beep. <laughs> beep. Cosmic Dancer. Holy crap. Uh, well, one, that was very cute. Thank you. Uh, but also, thank you for the incredible $200 donation. My gosh. Cosmic. That's amazing. I really, really appreciate it. Wow. I forgot that those talk now. Do, is there a way to turn those off? Is, that, is it me that has to turn it off or is it you that has to turn it off? I can never remember. Um, not that I mind. I thought that was very funny. But if you didn't want it to talk, then... Um, then there must be a way to at least look at that. But thank you ever so much. That's so kind. Wow. I really appreciate it. All right. Are we on or off the grid here? We are not on the grid. Okay. So that's going to change. I feel like some of this must be. This looks like it's on the grid. Yeah, okay, so this is on grid. But then this is not. Okay, well that's good to know. And I feel like I sent this over what I felt was kind of like the middle of this area in terms of like the view and the long part here. Although, man, this autosave chug is starting to get real too. I kind of feel like we may have to go a little bit more to the side here. I really wish the game gave you a real map. I mean, there's this map, but I really wish it would give you, like, the ability to, like, show what you're doing. You know? So I don't know whether we should center the roundabout on this set of tracks or whether she whether we should move it sideways a little bit. Probably at least think about it being center. We're not that far off. Like there's if that's the center then that's not terrible. I'd only want to be a little bit more to the right. That feels like it's center of the landmass sort of deal. So maybe we'll grab this. Maybe we can just use our person standing in the middle of this as like a marker. probably have to use two so it's probably these two so it's really not off by that much so we could probably use that as the center for the roundabout and then figure out I guess where the center this way would be but I guess we could also use I think I was gonna use that line Yeah, like that still feels pretty, pretty central to me. We know this is on the grid. And I 
don't think that's changed. Hey, Penguin Dude, how's it going? You can say nothing about the autosave until you can get up to take a break like BL Andrew. Yeah, that's fair. So I feel like I must have put this on the grid somehow. Because it really felt like that was pretty, pretty central, right? Oh, it's not. It's not on the grid. Is this, maybe? Nope. Okay. So then we've got to pull from over there. I feel like that's probably high enough. I wouldn't want to go any lower, I don't think. Um, I guess we could... We already have to come up in a little bit of um, elevation here. So there's no reason to really stay on any particular elevation. Because I, I know that Devastator is not on the grid, unfortunately. And then the other question is, I don't think, I think we're even off a little bit down here. Yeah. So we'll just take a guess as to where it looks about right. And I guess I should be using four meters for this. So it is quite a bit higher. Still not far off. I must have gotten real close. It's, yeah, it's only off by a touch. So if this was the middle, does that look like it could be the middle, this whole area? Yeah, that's pretty good. So that would mean that this would be the center of the whole thing, I think. That feels about right. No, well, maybe there.
So that might be the center of what we need to do. Oh, see, now down here it feels like it's off. So maybe we do need to back this up. I thought I had taken the time and had this centered too. But it feels like it's off by a little bit. Yeah, maybe we have to go with here. Feels about right. <clears throat> this house, some this somehow feels off. But I think it's just because it's an asymmetrical piece of land. So I guess the other question is: Is this enough space under it? Do we feel like this is going to be high enough for what we do here? thoughts on what you do with both of your saves i know you're asking for feedback on the discord uh yeah i think i'm gonna bring the cybertron save over to this one i think that's what's gonna happen i think we're gonna take the um because on this save i've got nothing happening there's absolutely nothing happening down here in the grass fields so i would lose all of the oil stuff from the other save because that's where megatron is but other than that it wouldn't be that big of a deal So I should be able to get tracks going out. Uh, it's one, one, two, three, four. Yeah, from here, two, three, four, five. I've got a funny feeling that I had sent this track up specifically for the view. And now we're just going to be over here a little bit. I don't really think that that's bad. Plus, that means we can go straight through there if we need to. And I don't think it really matters. Yeah, I think we're fine. So, like I said, the question I'm having here is... Um, 
Do I feel like this is high enough? I think it probably is. I think it's also even on the world grid, as far as I can tell. Looks like it's off by a bit, but at the same time, like, this changes. Literally the second after I did my other donation, this one came through. Happy monthly donation day. Use this wisely. Buy coffee. <laughs> Thanks very much, Cosmic. Um, for folks that don't know, uh, you can set up a recurring donation, which Cosmic Dancer has done. Uh, so thanks again for the, the recurring $10 a month, Cosmic. I really appreciate it. And uh, that's done through Streamlabs. Uh, when you do uh, a Streamlabs donation, which is the button uh, in the panels underneath my stream, uh, one, it's probably the best way to support me because it just goes through PayPal, and PayPal takes it just a teeny, teeny, tiny little bit, and then everything else goes to me. And uh, you can click a button there and set it up to repeat. Uh, so if you prefer like to not have to think about it, then uh, you can do that. Uh, and it allows that to go through. And then Twitch will give you a, a notification to say, hey, by the way, your recurring donation came through. Do you want to do like a shout out in chat? So you still get the same shout out that you would if you stream, if you contributed live every month on your own manually. Uh, but it gives you the opportunity and that that includes like if your recurring date is like on in this case it's the fifth but if i wasn't streaming today then when cosmic logged in tomorrow or friday to see me stream they would see a notification saying hey on tuesday your sub went through or your donation went through do you want to do you want to give a shout out um or, uh, to to the streamer so uh, again cosmic thank you ever so much I, re I really appreciate it uh, it's also time for a break because it's getting dark and i know i'm a little a little under an hour, uh, but I feel like uh, today, because it's so close, I want to hit the um, hit the darkness with the um, with the brakes to make sure we stay on those. So let's go with uh, Megatron construction and hmm. Devastator it's Hub. It's dark, but not the dark side. Disturbing. Thanks again for the awesome support cosmic and the 200 bits for the TTS sticker. I really appreciate it. And, and yes, time for break. I will be back in about five or seven minutes, folks. I take a break about once an hour and it is that time.
Something I just realized is that one way to make sure we don't go past our stop would be to have two trains. Uh, and I could just leapfrog them. So next time I take this brake train and then this one will block this one from going too far. It's not a bad idea. Actually, speaking of, I guess I should take a train back to where we were going. I'll grab this. Now, in what world did that make sense? In terms of the order that those things are in, right? So weird. I don't want to spend too long on this today. I just want to get the location sorted and the um, see if I can get some of the tracks in. Because I'd like to rip up some stuff. And then I want to try to do some some decorating, I think, in Devastator. I did bring over all of my blueprints as well from the other save. Whisperl, hello, hello. Frequent spawn chunks in VOD Watcher, welcome in. Good to see you. Thanks for coming by. Did you watch uh, the new episode of the Spawn Chunks? Just came out yesterday. Floaty rail support time. Yeah, we've got some. We've got some. I want to make a little bit of a change to the double. The double support needs some love. But um, yeah, so this I might have to come over and look at this to see how big we made this. Because that works pretty well, and it has the potential to have eight different points. And this does have a center point of four, but then one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Looks like it went to six. Or that's on the that's on the seam, maybe? We'll have to see what we can come up with. I know that we could do... We could do, um, like a circle trick here. Rather than a square. I don't think we use this line for anything, so I could probably just disconnect this for now. So it's not really um, in the way as much. See how high I can get before it starts to peter out. I feel like that, that feel like it fits. It might be a little bit close up here. No, I guess it's about the same. Okay. Uh, so, we would have lines coming in through here. And one of the things we could do 
One, two, three, four, five. If I put something here. That is 45. So and we'd have to count from the center. So it'd be one, two, three, four, one more. So that would be the next point, um, although we'd have to make this with two, so then this would have to be there. I think. Now why does that not go out? Uh, that's, I must have done that wrong. That should go over the corner. Yeah. So that's in line. So then this could go off in that direction. You can sort of see how it starts to get real close to what we already have. It's good. And then over here, we would have the same sort of thing. And this should be just a simple one meter. Yeah. So it's on the grid. It's just that depending on where you start your your bottom. I guess the main thing I need to worry about is like, are we going to be kind of off devastator by too much? So I need to check that a little bit. Um... But really what we should do, I guess, is figure out where the curves are going to go. So this would be a part there. I guess we've got two lines coming into what should be a single, a single turn. It's not a two lane roundabout, it's a single lane roundabout. So... That should still work. All right, I need to check that vertical just to double check. Bonfire night activities. That sounds awesome, Cosmic. All good. Thanks for the lurk. Alright, so let's grab this. Yep. 
you're just gonna phase right through that. They only collide with trains, which is good and bad. So this is definitely not on the grid, and I don't think it's gonna be on um, the vertical grid either. I don't know whether this is. That to me looks like it's on the vertical grid. The one meter chunks. That's good. This won't be too much of a problem. I guess it's just how I connect it all through there. I just don't want to extend this all the way. So I'll probably just take this along here. And then go back and delete some stuff because I know that this is all going to be on this on the same grid. This is going to look so much nicer when it's done. It's going to be so much cleaner. It's cold here too, Cosmic. I was, um, I mean, it's milder, milder today, but like I was walking home from the gym the other day and it was chilly. I, I have to throw a pair of gloves in my gym bag now, just in case. I need to come back over here and get concrete anyway. Looks like it might be. No, it's not. That's unfortunate. That's what I was concerned about, was the fact that this is off the vertical grid. It's not a huge deal, it's just... Well, I mean, I can't make it a huge deal because we've, um... We've committed to it now. Like, I'm, I'm not raising or changing the height of Devastator. I should have maybe thought of that when I raised the train platform, but too late now. Alright, so we're going to have two lanes coming in along here. We will eventually want them to connect to a point along here. So we need like a midpoint. And so that's what this was for. So I think I need to go back to the single. So 
so it's going to be on the seam, I think. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. So as far as I remember, trick is so I can put that over here too. Just start with a straight one. seam there. I think. So if I was trying to connect these, it should be a nice curve. That's on four, not five, that's why. So one, two, three, four. So it includes the middle. Two, three, four, five. It should be here. That gives a straight point, so it's not going to be a nice circle. I think I'm just confusing myself by using these double lanes. Four, five.
try that again. I just need to have two exit nodes. That's the only trick. So I should be able to go to the middle of this and the middle of that. And that should have a nice curve to it. Okay. So the trick now is to figure out how to get... Like this could connect, I guess, into there. Probably from here. And then anything coming off this way. That went right up to two away. Interesting. Either the human is wearing his concentrating face, or he has wind. We'll continue to monitor. <laughs> wind? What? The <laughs> well, what, I need to read this. Either the human is wearing his concentrating face, or he has wind? Is it a British thing? You mean gas? I don't know what you mean. I am wearing my concentrated face, that's fair. Thank you very much for the TTS sticker, Cosmic. <laughs> okay, gas, right. That's what I thought you meant, but I wasn't sure. You were too British for me. Yeah, you'd, you'd think that after spending so much time with Johnny and talking with you over the years that I would have clued into a bunch of stuff like that, but not always. There's definitely some things that don't cross the pond. So this is one and a half. So if I got to bring him up to here. And then this would connect to that one. No. Well, that looks symmetrical anyway. We're going to have to rebuild and build a couple of these things anyway. Need to mark a couple of these. Over here. One, two, three, four, five, six and a half. One, two, three, four, five. Go right there. This would be so difficult without the hover pack. And to do this curve.
going to let me do that, is it? Oh, there we go. Two, and then one, two, three. Delete the straight bit, grab the curve bit. Looks like a circle to me. Uh, and then just to double check that this is going to work. That's one, two and a half. That might be too close. Yeah, measured that wrong. Here, I guess. Oh, but that's that's why that won't work is because of the um the junctions. I just, I don't think that'll function. It also feels farther away than that. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five. Be the middle of six. Well, I had it right the first time. I was getting the error for the different reason. That's what was going on. Right, that connects because it's only the third connection. So the issue here is that I need to break this up into a smaller section if I can. And I think I can. If only train sections could be shorter than 12 meters. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, the problem here is that I can't do, I can only do degrees of, of, oh no, they're five degrees now, right? So, ah, uh, but I can't do, like, I can't do 22 and a half, right? That's the issue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right, so one, two, three, four. I can't do. So I can do one, two, three, maybe. That might give us a couple of points. Really tests your ge ge geography, sorry, geolo um, geometry. Joel does words. Right. So 
I might be able to go from edge to edge there. It's probably going to want to snap to its neighbor, unfortunately. Yeah. If I was to go from midpoint to midpoint, that's just going to be straight. If I start here, it'll let me go to... Yeah, I want the one that's in between there, but I can't get it. Dad from Bear, subscribing at Tier 1, 27 months. Thanks ever so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Testing my geology. What kind of rocks are these, Joel? Yep. The frustrating kind of rocks. That's what kind of rocks they are. So the issue, of course, is that we can't have um, four connections at the same time. Junction. Or at least I don't think we can. I could just build it the simple way and see if the cheaty way actually works. Uh, where do I find the Discord servers for subscribers again, says the Nookie. Uh, now that you have connected your Discord and your Twitch accounts, uh, you can go to your connections tab in discord and the joel duggan discord should show up uh and thank you for cosmic for the link in chat that should be uh, a link that explains how to do it uh the nookie i thought you were already in the discord though did you lose your connection all right i don't want to be at this for hours and we're getting close to our second hour here oh somehow you lost the connection no worries Right, so I can't do from there. I have to do from over there first. So let's try um, this other side and see. Well, that's going to be too short. Yeah, you know what? We're just going to go with the, the straight connections and see if we can actually maybe fudge this. I don't want to be spending all day. I think my issue is that I've made it too, too narrow of a diameter. I think I need to go bigger for what I need to do in order for that to work. Because what I'd like to do is have a connection between the two center points of these two angles. But I think in order to do that, I think I have to be farther away. So I think that's the, the main issue. But we'll see if this first one works.
So I'm going to keep all my center points for now. And then we will delete them. After we do the second attempt, maybe. Anyway, that's our circle. And so now we should be able to have these ones connect. I bring this up to here. We'll do these ones, the main lines first, because I don't have a lot of these angled ones. I feel like that looks pretty symmetrical to me. I guess that had to be closer. Nope. How did I mess that up? One, two, three, four, five and a half. Zero, hello, hello. Welcome in. Hope you're well. Oh, I see what I did. Thought it looked funny. That looks the same. Okay. One, two, three, four, five and a half. The brief tutorial that I saw on YouTube did not cover the fact that I was thinking about doing two two sections into one another. Uh, we don't need to have an angle off that way, as far as I can tell. Uh, that's going to be fine. This is going to be the main way. Um, I don't know if we can do this. We might not be able to. Well, that would just... The angles here would just connect to the midpoints over here. And that shouldn't be a problem at all. Because they don't have any connections. It's the fact that this thinks it's got two when it doesn't. It just looks like it's technically one track, I think. So if you're coming in here and you're turning, um, yeah, you're turning right, you should just bypass the whole thing. I don't think you'll have to go around. That's the thought process anyway. So my idea is that this will end up going up there. Uh, this will end up going over that way. Or they both might end up going over that way and around. We'll have to see. Um, I don't have anything that needs to go over that way. So even though it is like an eight section roundabout, um, I may not use it in that way. Okay, 
So the difficult slash next thing we have to do is just temporarily connect some of this stuff up. I would say we start to go down here. That was rude. Oh, no power. Water? Oh, it's close. You're watching the stream on a tablet. Good luck with Twitch on a tablet. All right, this is disconnected. That's why there's no power. Uh, we'll go out three. I never remember how far these have to go back. I think it's like two. Nope. Obviously a little bit further. I missed. I think I have enough juice to get up here. Yeah, I'd say halfway is good enough. So then this will go down to here. And then I just have to get over here. I might even just be able to cook up to that. Uh, let's go... Where's the segments here? You should have power. No. So eerie with no footsteps on these things. Now, I don't think those are going to be truly parallel, but it's going to be close. And I think it's the same idea. If we start halfway, halfway at the top. Less than that.
feels a little bit weird. Yeah, I'm not sure what the happy medium is. I guess it was three was maybe the one that looked the best. One, two, three. Yeah, I guess we'll go with that. Oh, maybe I came down too far. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. An important message from Cosmic. Wait, no, I don't understand what this means. Something about wind and tea and biscuits. Ah, it's too British for me. I think they mean <laughs> almost time for another break. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Cosmic, for the, the bits in the TTS sticker. Uh... Too British for Claptrap. That's hilarious. Did they did they do any kind of British jokes in Borderlands? I feel like a couple of the characters are British, aren't they? I guess, no, they're all more like a southern drawl, like a Texan accent then, aren't they? Yeah, maybe. You're right, it is almost time for another break. Um, does this have power? I need to find something that's got power that I can hook up to. I'd say that probably does. I wish they would implement the straight mode for tracks like they've done with belts. That would be fun. I think we're powered now. Yeah, it feels like we're powered. All right, I can't quite turn it on yet. I've got to put in the block signals, but I feel like we're going to start to extend this back this way. that tower maybe we'll have it come out of the rock or something I don't know all right let's go grab that brake train now that the red the red uh, dusk is happening it does get very dark very quickly I just have to remember to put Devastator Hub as the last to stop. Uh, Western Slopes is not reachable. Um, let's just go Devastator Hub and Megatron. We'll probably just go back and forth. I don't think I can connect. Well, let's try um, Devastator Storage too. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Folks, I take a break about once an hour. It is that time. You get to ride the train. I get more coffee. I will be right back.
I forgot that there was another train. That's fine. I forgot the order of things in which they were happening. The brake train has become the breakdown train? Yeah, that's fair. Uh, during the break, Cosmic actually asked if I would do an after hours Borderlands uh, stream. I, I'm at a, a weird position with that. I want to, I'd love to do it, but I've got two playthroughs, one on my Xbox and uh, the other is on the PC. I'm farther on the Xbox, which means I would have to repeat what I did. Um, and I don't want to start over again because I've done the beginning of the game like three times now. So, I don't know. On one hand though, I could play one of the other characters. I could play like the, the tank girl character. That could be fun. Yeah, see, this has the little segment chunks that I wanted, but it's not a circle. So I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll have to get that sorted out, I guess. Uh, one thing I want to be sure of is that I mark where I want to have the hover parts. So we'll do that there. And I guess at that point, it doesn't really matter. I really don't, I don't know why it goes like half a foundation. I kind of wish they would if they were going to restrict it. I kind of think they should just restrict it to like a, a solid number. Like why is it? Because these are all eight. What's what's the actual length? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and a half. So it's 100 meters. Everything else in the game is broken up into like 2, 4, 6, 8, 16. Like, and they just made 100 meters the limit for this. this set up I should have to do uh, I have to do that differently for the hover pad stuff so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so it's that one Do I have a train hotbar? I probably should. Looks like that. where I want to go. So 
So this will connect up to probably that, I guess, immediately. This is already connected up to that roundabout. This is not connected up. It could be. short. What do you mean? Hmm? What the hell? Well, that's dumb. So you just have to build it in the right order? But then it doesn't matter for that one. Gotta love it when things are consistent. So this is just to get things functioning for today. We'll make it look pretty later. heading the other way should be fine that's that accessed mix master and and um, that guy can come through here and the only thing left is to hook up scavenger I'm trying to decide whether I want scavenger to just go on those lines right here or if I should send Scavenger down to the roundabout. I kind of feel like I should have... They'll be coming in this way and leaving out that way. It really wouldn't be much different. I can probably just to connect this quickly here at the end of things. So now we just have to do the block signals and stuff in here. They probably didn't want it to be a weird number. Um, power lines are 100 and 300 meters. Yeah. Okay. So the way that this works is that we do a path signal on the way in. So right hand drive, we're going in. Right hand drive going in. Right hand drive going in. Right hand drive going in. And right hand drive going in. And then going out, we do blocks. Right hand drive going out. Right hand drive going out. Going out. Going out. And going out. And that should be all we need to do.
I guess we could do like a spin around in there too if we wanted to. It would eliminate all of this nonsense along here, which would be nice. It looks like it's all working except for this, obviously. So now we just have to remove this. All those going out two words? <laughs> Maximum Canadian? Nah, that's fair. That's fair. I don't remember how much farther up we have to be. I think it's like six meters. Probably just eliminate that and take it to here. this guy to go by. Is he coming or going? I think he's coming by. Thanks for the lurk, Penguin Dude. Appreciate it. Sorry if I've missed some chat messages. I feel like I've been focused on this. Oh, that doesn't reach, does it? Crap. Alright, maybe we bring this down further. say maybe this one would be good now I don't know if this will reach. Oh, it might reach from that that section. So close. So annoying. Is that flat? That looks pretty flat to me. That should fix that. Uh, 
How are you not powered? Cool. Get rid of that. And then we should be now on the new tickets, except for we just have to get some of this stuff sorted. I was doing these every two segments, wasn't I? Uh, so one, two to here. But I don't need these ones. Get these out of the way so there's nothing being confusing. And it sounds like we've got a signal issue as none of the trains are running. Oh no, someone found a path. I'm curious now how this is going to go. This is Mixmaster coming back with Bauxite. I still need this ugly roundabout thing in order to get them up high enough to go up that um, that hill for now. Now, looks like it's going to work. Yep. Okay. That works for me. So, uh, the people that are wondering why the painted, um, painted foundations is because in my other playthrough, if you are not familiar, we have uh, blueprints that create like little hover track things. How is this not? Yeah, that's weird. This track should be powered. Um, blueprints. Look at all the goodies. Uh, no tracks and block signals. Two rail floating platform with no block signals. That's the one I want, I think. No, what is going on? I'm right next to the tracks. Like, I should be powered? The trains don't run on unpowered tracks. Why can I get not get a signal here? My hover pack is just messed up. What did I say? Was the green one? No. It's the white one. That's the one. So then this looks like an anti-gravity support. And then we delete all these. This is going to be so satisfying to get rid of all this.
Missing plates. Is there anything I can delete around here for plates? Yes. I was thinking about trying to make this a little bit more robust. What it'll do for now. So this is the only one that's not hooked up. It's the only one that not, that's not run. And so with this, what we can do off of here, we know we need to do uh, three by three. So one, two, three, two, three. One, two, three. has to go going back it has to go back this way I guess that's right hand drive and then left hand drive would be over here Not left hand drive, the way in. Uh, however, we've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That should look okay. And technically, I guess this just needs a path. block that didn't work because this needs to be a path I think I guess they just need to be both blocks. Right, but that's that makes this a giant block, unfortunately. So it'll slow things down temporarily until we get this hooked up properly. Check behind the sofa. No, I did not. I gotta say, that looks a lot cooler, right? I don't think I have anything else nearby that's plate related. Uh, these are all steel. Alright, 
think we need to go back and get some plates. I think they're just in here. I think we're good. Anything else I'm missing? Rods. I think we're good. Hey, that's the whole idea of this game. You have a pocket dimension. You can pull things out of your pocket whenever you want. So I still need to leave this intact, which is unfortunate. I can remove these, though. I do wish sometimes that Satisfactory wasn't such an iterative process, like I kind of wish that you could do more quickly. Um, with projects of this size, you always seem to be inching forward. Now what am I missing? Quartz. Alright, never mind. I give up. game plan was to get this functional, which I think we have done. Uh, the only thing I can't connect to is the... No, I guess that's still hooked up, so we should still be able to get there as well. Okay, cool. Uh, so I can delete all of this nonsense. Leave that there like that. Guess I'll leave all the middle bits in case we need to fix this later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load this up into the Satisfactory um, calculator website and I'll take a look in between streams and see if this is where I want to keep it. And if that's the case, then we'll finish it up and decorate it. But I think that's where we're going to leave that part for now because I'd like to start making things look a little bit nicer in the actual uh, factory. Yeah, that looks way cooler.
At least satisfactory trains take up fewer space in your pocket than Minecraft minecarts. That's fair. That's an accurate statement. So what I'd like to do is um, start to think about some of the shapes and different things I want to do along here. And the biggest one right now is the Devastator sort of chest plate. And I've established some of the, the doors. And so I want to try and um, do some of that stuff. I feel like we'll need concrete and plates for walls. Maybe not that much concrete. Silica for windows, plastic. That should be everything we need. So I can replace some of these with smaller hover platforms. The one that I have is actually a single. So this one looks a little bit more industrial. It looks a little bit beefier than the other one. So I had put these above each um, divider for the main bus. So we'll think about putting them that way. Like that. But because they're smaller and they still have the same two panels, I feel like they look beefier than these ones. So when you put them next to each other, even though that's a bigger unit, this feels like it has more lift because it's got the same amount of like lights here. And if you look at it, like it's the same, same sort of design structure, but because this has got pointy bits on it, this just feels a lot sturdier. So I was thinking about ways to try and design this to maybe have like four on each side, maybe. That could be a good way to do it. Uh, I also think that maybe this could be a little wider. Um, it feels a little bit narrow. So I don't exactly know how we're going to proceed. But I do like the look of that. Like, I think that that looks neat. Cosmic is on the snark today. Holy smoke. But I think that that's going to go for our, like, space age. Kind of, like, transformer vibe. Uh, this looks terrible. This whole, like entrance into uh devastator and of course like i want this to look um oh why is that not working oh now my stream deck is not working awesome isn't it lovely in the middle of you know your your stream when the, the images you want to put up on screen just completely stop working and i don't want to restart restart my stream deck because usually restarting the stream deck crashes the stream well, that's a pain in the butt. Um, that's the image I wanted to put up. Uh, 
and it's gonna be a real pain to try and flip back and forth uh, but you can see like in um, the image on the far right and the one in the top left are kind of like my two big inspirations for like the chest plate shape but then his his like his his torso it's like the grill of a truck so what we have right now looks like a big barn door Agastavi, hello, welcome in. Thanks for saying hi. Thanks for saying hi. So, like, that's not the shape that I want uh, in this section here, obviously. I feel like it has to be a more of a metal metal box. And I feel like the train has to be... Yeah, we could lower this part here. But yeah, this is not going to stay like that. I sort of like what's happening there. If I, I like the idea of having a train here while I work so I can sort of see what's happening and we can also test to see like the camera so that we don't clip the camera which should be nice I like that it looks kind of square I think shorter would probably end up clipping the camera. That's one, two, so that's four, eight, ten, four, six. Is it? No. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Yeah, so that's no longer square. That's fine. Where are you coming from, Agastavi? Uh, Spawn Chunks Podcast? Find us just on Twitch? Maybe even the Citadel Cafe Podcast? Well, it doesn't clip. So I'd say that's about as low as we can go. As far as the opening goes. From the spawn chunk, so awesome. Very, very cool. There's a brand new episode of that out this week as well. And whatever happens here, I feel like this needs to be sturdier looking. The whole idea is that this is supposed to be closed in, even though right now we've got holes in it. So I had this all planned before stream. I loaded up all these images on my on my stream deck, and now it just decided to stop working. And again, like I just I don't want to try and close. Yeah, the stream deck has crashed. I wonder if it's all I need to do is just open up stream deck. If it's already crashed, then that shouldn't cause any problems. If I disappear, don't go anywhere. Okay, I don't know why that crashed. So let's just see. Nope. Still not working. So it's probably... Um, oh. Now it's working. Okay. Cool. Alright, thank goodness. I was worried it was going to crash OBS. Because usually what happens if I run into an issue like this and I try to restart Stream Deck, it, restarting it crashes the OBS and the stream. But Stream Deck had already crashed and, and closed. I wonder if it got like an update or something. Anyway, uh, where's the big... Yeah. So I like this image there. And you can see all the detail that's happening in his abdomen. And like there's some red stuff. And 
a lot of silver happening, but I kind of want to throw the train like right through the middle. And you can sort of see that kind of detail I would want off to the to the left and the right. And then I have to tie that in to what's happening kind of like here. So it feels like there's a really dark sort of supportive structure along here. And maybe this is a little bit lighter. At least for now. And I'm going to move this under my other monitor. Yeah, I feel like along here, there's another, there's like a green support bit as well. But then there'd also be some depth happening in this section here. Is that a full foundation? No, it's a half. And then here, I think we'd end up going a little deeper. I'm not sure how deep this wall is supposed to be. And I can't delete that, I guess? What's going on there? Okay, that's odd. I think the broader shape would come all the way up here. But it definitely kind of goes out at the edges and then comes in at the sides. But I don't know if this would necessarily be here. Oh, and there's the game crashing. Or my whole computer's crashing. Nope, satisfactory crashed. Crap. Well, that just sucks. Hold on. I wonder how much work I lost. We were doing so well. We were doing so well. Uh, thanks, Wormbo. Appreciate it. So I'm just waiting for the satisfactory to cloud sync and I'll start up again. Maybe that one wall was corrupted? Maybe. Um, my guess is that... See, the last time that I, I was crashing, this is what I was doing. I was building in Devastator while it was fully functioning. Uh, 3.22. 10 minutes ago? So maybe I just won't build that wall there.
I should have saved that log file. Uh, I'm sure I can probably find it after the fact. Yes, no. Well, I really dislike redoing um, design stuff. Do want to get rid of the ugly though, so we'll try to do that again. Sorry, thanks, Cosmic. Let's just quickly save this. I don't know whether because I just had um, Streamlabs or Stream Deck in the background crash as well, whether that's me or whether it's the game. Uh, we'll call this a uh, new train roundabout. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff happening underneath us. I wonder if that's the problem. If so, that's a pain because that means I can't play this playthrough. darkness my old friend I've come to talk to you again because it's almost Joel's break time and then I will claim the galaxy as mine oh wait I mean hand out cookies yes cookies thanks for the TTS sticker cosmic that's uh that's awesome and yeah I'll take a break as soon as the sun goes down appreciate the reminder This kind of has this kind of a shape, and I think I need to just bite the bullet here and make this a different kind of gray color. Let's sort of see the shapes that I'm dealing with. I don't know if it's going to be quite that high. I feel like maybe this is going to come in and go back a bit. Feels like his chest really sticks out from there. And that's going to be thick, but then also on the chest. This actually w would probably be deeper now that I think about it.
Might want to give ourselves some extra room. You never can have too much depth, I find. And this would just go clear across like that. I actually got to double check to make sure I'm on the right level here. I think I'm on the right. Yeah, okay. Trying to make sure I'm using big chunks so that if I do any angles, they'll hook up better. Something like that would be cool. Don't know why I've doubled up here. And this goes almost as wide as this chest piece. And I, this I don't know how wide it's going to be. I do like... I do like the one on the right, far right, as well as the one on the far left. So I'm trying to figure out like how can I kind of combine them. The one on the left is definitely simpler. I don't, I guess that could be straight across the top. Either way, I feel like it's going to be roughly that height. These are two different angles, too. I think I prefer the angle on the right. Yeah, so let's commit to that. I do uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hard to back up and get a good look. But if that's the chest piece, then his lower chest here has to be almost as wide for this to look the way that I want. 
Although I guess in one of those images it goes a little bit wider. Yeah, it's a couple of the images it's actually as wide or wider than the top part of his chest. Maybe not his shoulders, but certainly the top part of his chest. Hmm. I could still come out to here. That's pretty good. Although, maybe that's a little bit high. Hmm. make this a black color. Yeah, I feel like this needs to be cut away somehow. And this needs to have more of a cut in here. And nothing special back there. And then I can come up with some other kind of cool lights or design or angle or something in there. Would make sense. Because this, I think, would stop here. And continue around. Yeah, we have some sort of divide here. And then I don't know what's going to happen here. I feel like this is going to have to get out of the way of the shoulders. And there's the sunset. We're getting there, though. Let's grab a break train and see what we can do. It's sort of dawning on me now just how much work it's going to be to get this to look good. I think what I need to do is decide on a height for the Decepticon symbol and then put that in there and then make that like the focal point of everything. Uh, transport. I don't know that Construction 2 is hooked up, but we'll find out. Cool. I need to take a break, folks. Again, Cosmic, thank you ever so much for the reminder and the sticker and the bits. I will be right back.
probably take it over manual from here. I've got to figure out how to... I guess, block out what I want to do and still not encroach on the factory. Because I don't know what's happening behind the chest yet. I do have an image for the Decepticon symbol that I could mess around with. Is that a Mercer Sphere? I think that's a Mercer Sphere. It is. We're gonna go grab that first. I must have grabbed that in my other playthrough and forgot that I have not grabbed it in this one. We watch the waves of the effigies and the shallows passing through the windows, and they're all the same. There is no residence growth. Sing. I just called the fix it doctors. They told me there is definitely no danger from repeat exposure to these signals. In fact, they said it is good for you. I apologize, but the call dropped suddenly, otherwise they would have told you themselves. <laughs> the good news is you should run towards these strange and dangerous looking objects whenever you find them. Doctor's orders. I just noticed the slug up there too. And I'm pretty sure that I've got gas masks on me. Yes. Yoink. So as cool as these towers are, I think I like my hover train better. We regret to inform you that this train journey has been disrupted by shiny things the train driver had to go collect. <laughs> speaking of, speaking of shiny things, look at. Shiny things. I feel like I probably got the stuff from in here. We really need to have some more dimensional depots. That's why I need these Mercer spheres. Just a slug. I was hoping for Summer Sloop. I don't know how we're going to handle the, the elevation changes with the hover platforms. It might be a little bit weird. This is just a terrible exchange. It's uh, very, very temporary. I feel like I say that a lot. Surface around here is terrible. No one gets anywhere on time. Fair. I haven't really accounted much for the depth of this thing either. It sticks off his chest pretty far. See, I was hoping to have like my storage room around here, but I think the storage room is going to be much, much higher. I guess it's not that deep, depending on which one you're looking at. Still, I feel like these wing pieces would be at least 
you know, a two, two width foundation. This part on the end would be even bigger. Potentially. That just doesn't, doesn't leave a lot of depth for details and stuff. Because I'd like there to be a little bit more happening. It is pretty much a plate. Like, it's not... There's some depth, but there's not, like, too much that I can really do. I guess the biggest depth changes are here. I mean, we can always nudge walls back and forth, but I feel like that limits us a little bit. This may have to stick out a little bit farther. We'll have to see. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a good guess. I think I've mentioned this before, but I do find it very helpful to kind of block in the stuff that you're doing. And then work on the details later. And it looks like this is going to change. Should really make this out of concrete. remember how far that went. Uh, that's center. One, two, three, four, five.
Uh, is the sign with the double-sided Decepticon symbol a note for the future or a really cheap way of adding what you wanted to do with <laughs> use your imagination? No, what I was thinking was um, instead of having the Decepticon symbol on like a wall, I thought it would be cool to have it on glass. And then you could see it from both sides. So like it would be really cool if in the storage room which would be probably around this height. It's like if you could see this floating Decepticon symbol. And let me just see if I can um, find an image that I've got here. What's a good one? Um, not the map. Not that one. So the thumbnail, what I can do... Property. So I'm thinking something. Oh, I thought I had this better sorted. So it might not be quite like this. But that's the idea, and we'll use signs to do it. So each little square uh, represents one of these little guys. Right? So like if I took a look at that image on my screen here... So like one, two, one, three, and four. So like, for example, if we were to put this up here, like that, so like that's the center. And then we've got space and there's one. There's three. All right, so then to create like this top image of like the point of the Decepticon thing, we just come in here. What I would do is I would probably create purple blueprinted ones. But for now, we'll just do the Decepticon purple light. And then when you back up far enough, it creates like a pixel art symbol and it'll look like the Decepticon symbol. But then imagine this part here would be like glass. We can't tint the glass, but yeah, small sign pixel art. I've done it before on Metroplex. If you look up the Metroplex save on uh, YouTube. Actually, I can probably find a thumbnail. Uh, playlists. Where's the Metroplex playlist? Devastator, Megatron... Maybe I didn't separate it into playlists. It is 2021, I know that much.
There's the Metroplex save. And now somewhere there's probably a thumbnail. Yeah. Let me just see. Do I stop and look at it at any point briefly? I'm in the right vicinity. Try this one. There we go. So that's the, the Autobot one that I did. And so I started replacing some of the bigger chunks with larger signs. And I used some of my own pixel art. And it, and it, it works out great, but it's like, it's huge. It's like 32 meters tall, right? And it, it looks really cool when you back up, like when you back up from it, when you get on the ground. Like you can see how big the building is, right? And all the details. And when I turn around, like it's way up off the ground, but it was a lot of fun to kind of get those details sorted. So that's what I'm thinking for, for this. Um, and this pixel art is roughly the same size. I didn't finish it, so that's not my image. That's like one I pulled from the internet, but then I also tweaked it. But like, same idea, like you're gonna be way down here. So you'll be able to see it from everywhere. I wanted to read from way down the end, right? Like I wanna be able to look at it immediately and see what's going on. Already this is starting to feel a lot better, I think, in terms of what's happening. It's really strange how you can't connect walls to the sides of walls. You have to use um, foundations to it. And then these are all too low. Oh no, I added a wall in the front of it. That's what's going on. And maybe we can even expose some of these hypertubes. Like maybe we could have hypertubes going down in between the buildings and have it look like detail, but then also have it be um, something that functions for us. That could be cool too. Before I get too carried away with any of the details here, I need to bring over my palette from the other save. So all of a sudden, it's starting to look a little bit more like what we want from a transformer theme base, right? I think I might just remove these little walls here just temporarily. My main concern is like the empty space in between stuff. 
because I've got him in like a different position, obviously, than the standing robot. So I feel like we're going to want to have this depth go back even farther. Maybe even have something like this. I don't know. So like what happens in that space, right? Like that's where I'm just not not quite sure what's going on. I don't think I want it to be flat. At some point, you have to have this thing stop, right? I don't want that to be green, right? I'm okay with this part being green, but I feel like this needs to be something else. KO Extreme, hello, hello. Welcome in. Good to see you again. I mean, there's gonna need to be a lot more detail, but you start to get the idea. Especially if I can start to add like horizontal bits here. So we've got a um, couple different ways that this is handled, but I really like the idea of it looking sort of like a, dr a grill or something. know like they can add something like this and it quickly starts to get like complicated and machine like and we can put like lights in there and all kinds of cool things I guess this has to go back. So I didn't do the same depth on this side, so we'll have to figure out which side we prefer. As far as the depth goes, I'm thinking Probably the right hand side looks a little bit better. Especially if we can start doing angles, right? Like if we want to take this all the way back, 
right, so this is in the wrong space here. But what if we wanted to take it back to, like, that corner? Or not even, maybe even just that section there. Could do this. Alright, and then we have a nice, like, slightly different shape on it. Overlaps that section there. So there's all kinds of little things that you can do. I mean, obviously we'd have to cover that up, but that's fine. Because if you change that to concrete and paint it, then you'd never know. Done. Outside of the walls and stuff that you'll see flickering. But, like, we can figure that out. And even here could probably have more of an angle. And this is not something that I see in the, in the design. It's more just something that I see in the Transformers uh, shape design language. Maybe even a little bit more. We'd have to obviously connect that up, but I think that works. And you can start to remove a lot of this stuff and get more details in and get rid of the walls. And things start to take shape. Especially if you start to do overlaps. So like here, we could start to bring some of this stuff down a bit. I'm trying to think about how this looks in the model. It's just two big ones. So probably like there and there. So like we could come in here and do the same sort of thing. Difficult with the walls because the walls are not shallow. Yeah, it's a bit much. Well, you just make them thick, I guess.
so once you start to overlap stuff, I find it really starts to look cool. We would, of course, have to figure out a way to cover this part up. Not like that. We'd have to maybe come up with something else, but... Those might be too broad. We might want to go with something smaller. So like one and then like only one wide. That could be the best the best way to do that too. And I definitely want to overlap this down below as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking that the echo of that shape. And I think if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure that's a stairwell inside yeah so if I can keep that I will If we start connecting stuff like that up, I think it'll look pretty cool. Yeah, we're sort of getting there. Not a fan. Of, I I know what I said here a second ago. It just is a little bit too boxy. So maybe we'll just back this up by a bit. see what we can do I do wish there was a way to get a solid color like this on the flat uh, you can do it with from above with um, roofs but the underside of these are gray more difficult the closest is going to be a foundation going to be in shadow anyway. Right? And that doesn't even have to be straight. Like, maybe we end up having those come down at angles and stuff like that. That could be kind of cool, too. I think we're starting to get some I get I feel, I feel like the the blocking is going well I don't know about this shape and this feels odd obviously Maybe not there. Let's go with... Oh, okay.
something like that would work. So something along those lines I think would be cool. Don't know about those just yet. We may have to mess around with that. Those might look better actually as uh, concrete. The whole thing might look better as concrete. And then we have the other side here to think about and I would probably I kind of like that exposed thing there, but I wouldn't mind mimicking or mirroring what's happening on the other side. This needs to just be solid, I think. And so for that to happen, I would need probably one of these. So while it's kind of square, I actually don't mind it that much. I do wish I could kind of overlap that a little bit more, but there's not much I can do there. This could just be solid though. This is more practical right now than any kind of decoration. Yeah, so that's not the best. And so I do run into some issues. Yeah, I've been noticing the, the same thing cosmic with the um, the crash notifications. Totally. I may... Hmm. Yeah, I don't quite know how to handle that. I, I wish I had a slightly different way. I might just nudge some of this back. That could be the answer too. Or nudge it forward. That could, that could also, actually that would look good here too. That was lower, although that's gonna not line up with that. I don't know. We'll have to mess around and see what we can do. Um, this could be 8 meter. There has to be, this is kind of a tangent and I don't like tangents. So I may have to re rethink this section. It's too bad because inside this actually has, it's like this, this pattern. So, I don't know why it's not the same, but that's, that's that outside part right there. No tangents. Yeah. Can't have those. Can't have those.
And that sorts that out, right? It's pretty simple stuff. Once you've got things in place, you can just kind of pull off of the existing geometry. You have to find a way to hide it in here, obviously. But that's where you just have to decide, okay, well then here, I'll just make sure that I've got a wall that goes across this way. Maybe paint it purple just so I know. Hide the stuff. I mean, really, this is going to be the corridor, so I don't know what's happening on the other side of these. I don't even think this is going to be necessarily a square. I'd like it to have um, some sort of trapezoid shape to it as well. Is there not a tangent um, command, Cosmic? I thought there was. Five of those. I mean, it's starting to feel a lot more Transformer-like, I think. It's a slow process, but I think we'll get there. I'm really looking forward to putting all the details on this. I think that's going to look cool. How tall is this? One, two, three, four, five. So that's 20 meters. I might have to make that bigger. I can also see this needing to go up a bit on the edge, maybe. Yeah. Very cool. I do not know what to do about this section, though. I think I had that same problem over there. Did I not go? I didn't go as deep over here, did I? No, this has this weird section there. This feels like it resolves a little bit better, although I don't think 
this is going to stay here. I feel like, I don't know whether I had this measured out for anything. I feel like I maybe did, but there's um, it's stuff underneath here that I think is the main, main focus. I don't remember what was here at any rate. Because what I'm thinking is that this is probably going to have to go back farther to feel like it clears the um, the chest. Right, but then that doesn't make sense there, does it? So yeah, I don't know. That's that's tricky. Like where do you where do you start to pull this back, right? Like at some point this main building is gonna to attach to the one on the side. I just don't know where they overlap. I also don't know how tall this is going to be. Like, maybe this comes up here as well, right? At which point, it's just going to be behind here. So at that point, we have to have something here overlapping. And that's where I think that this might get thicker. So we might actually have more... Like a half foundation, maybe. We do need to have some sort of depth in here, which would be cool. I don't know. Maybe we, we like if we leave some of that visible and if we make it look organized, that could look kind of neat to just have a, an exposed hypertube lane. It's kind of going down there. I'm losing the light here, so I should probably wrap things up. Um, I think I'm just going to delete that for now. We'll probably get a decent screenshot from back here. Yeah, I mean, like that's that's getting there. That's getting there. You are about to enter another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. A journey into a sad land of no more Joel until tomorrow. <laughs> Next stop, the almost the end of stream zone. Uh, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Thanks very much, Cosmic. I appreciate that. Uh, if you would like to uh, find out when I'm streaming next, uh, check out Joel Duggan on Twitter and Joel Duggan on Instagram. I do have to wrap things up. It's the end of my stream day. Uh, we're going to pass you along to, I think it was Imperial Jedi is streaming. They are a fun, satisfactory creator. I have not checked lately. I can't remember whether their stuff is mature audience or not. Are they still streaming? I think they are. That or Captain Erock. Where do you guys want to go? Um, I'm happy to send you to either. Captain Erock, I think, just started. 
so that might be a better location. Um, anyway, uh, you can check things out uh, on all of your favorite podcast apps. I do the Spawn Chunks as well as the Citadel Cafe. New episode of the Spawn Chunks came out yesterday. We talked about the new drop schedule, whether or not it's confusing. We talked about resin in Java. We talked about bundles, all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, you can return here, one o'clock Atlantic. That's now standard time, so it's UTC minus four hours. That's tomorrow for more satisfactory. You can uh, follow on social media, as I mentioned, and oh, check out the Patreon. I had a number of people ask today uh, about different ways to support behind the scenes, and Patreon is one of the great ways to do it. Uh, you can also just do a straight-up donation on PayPal. Uh, the buttons are all below the Twitch stream if you want to do that. I really appreciate it. A uh, huge shout-out and thank you again to Cosmic. Thank you ever so much for the epic support today with the stream stickers, the donations, uh, and the recurring donation that you have set up. Uh, thanks to everybody that resubbed today. Uh, thanks to Cosmic and Sandy for modding. I really appreciate all the help. Uh, it takes a village <laughs> to have a community, uh, and uh, you all are a very big part of it. So thanks very much. I will see you tomorrow. Enjoy uh, Captain Erock. I don't think anybody else has voted in the chat, so we'll just send you over there. Cheers. Bye for now.